believe. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. I think that started now, Stinky. Okay. All right. So we're in. And you're ready for another. Hey, this game looks familiar. It's a little bit familiar, but the other one was a vertical game that we did for. Uh, what do you call it? Shorts, I don't know. Shorts Water videos. slide thingy. Did you actually make the shot from that yet? Yeah, we've already uploaded that. You don't remember anything. I remember I play, but I don't know if you upload that. Oh, we uploaded that. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'm worried. You always worry. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, hi, Random. I couldn't get into Discord for whatever reason. It keeps checking for an update but I just couldn't get in, get past that so I couldn't do an announcement and the reason I wanted to do one today was because this is supposed to be a multiplayer game and very popular Ooh. you pick the female character there stinky because you know what I'm doing Kane's here as well uh, so if one of you can do me a favor and just make the announcement in discord if you want to download it, I believe you can play with us. That uh, seems to be what the scenario is. And we got a lot to talk about today. Our old Uncle Peter's going to get on his soapbox. You ready for that, Stinky? But first, uh, first what? First, you've got to. Did what you give that video game? a like this? No, you're not even logged in there, Stink. Fucking what? I'll do it for you. Oh, I finished. <laughs> I don't quite get this game yet. You'll get okay. Yeah, you gotta do a bit of commentary there, Stinky, while I set up everything, set up your stuff. Clayton Gabe is here as well. Oh, all the DLG is here. Hello, guys. How are you going? What are they saying there, Von Stink? I'm having a bad day. Oh, we'll cheer you up. So let's find out what's going on. What's happening? Why is the day so bad? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you can read that, I suppose. Can I? What? Why? Do you have any family member that is alcoholic? I think that's what he asked. Um, thankfully, no. But I understand that alcoholism is very, uh, can be very difficult for people. You talk too soft there. You know, microphone is over here. Oh, um, yeah, I personally don't, but uh, I have encountered alcoholics in my time. So let us know what's going on. I'll see what I can do to help. I'll be right back. Tutorial complete. Uh. That was a tutorial? What? I'm not quite sure what's this. Okay. Uh? What's that? Is it the ad? Uh? Probably not. Accelerate 2? What is it? Um? I don't know. It's downloading. I can't do anything. Why don't you put that in your wallet? I actually put it on your wallet. You just don't put inside your wallet. Yeah, later. That's not good. What's going on there? I don't know. Uh, you might have to reset it maybe. I don't know. It seemed to work before. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, sus again. I don't know what sus. How can I reset it? Uh, other account for Kane. So Clayton, let us know uh, what's going on. Kane says, Poodot, a new Clash of Clans update is coming soon. New troop levels, new defense levels, and brand new super troop. Hang on, I can't remember. He told us before, but how do you know all this? Uh, Kane just said it in the... Yeah, how does he know all this? Oh, Kane's a genius. He's a little spy when it comes to clack a clack. I'm going to have to... That's kind of weird soundtrack here. Yeah. New soundtrack. I forgot to mention that. You're uh, really up for it these days. I won't read that out loud, Clayton, but... Um, mm, 
Yeah, that's actually quite common that uh, you'll have... It depends, I guess, what kind of person you are when you're drinking. Some people are what they call happy drunks. Other people are aggressive. And I guess this particular person must be aggressive. Um, you know, if you can get them into uh, rehabilitation, that might help. Um, or going to the doctor, these sorts of things. Uh, Kane says he's been watching the sneak peek videos for the Clash of Clans content creators. My goodness. There you go. I don't have that privilege. Random asked me a long time ago to see if I could get uh, game codes. And Supercell said, oh, the channel's not big enough, basically. You've got to have a fairly large channel and upload regularly, which we don't do for Clash of Clans anymore. We used to. Uh, so I don't know if that helps uh, Clayton, but clearly this this person needs some help and maybe some sort of intervention is required. Um, yeah, I mean Stinky, you've probably dealt with a, a few in your time, not, not family members or anything, but just through life experience. Uh, now while I'm waiting for the chat to, to chat to us a little bit more, uh, oh, that's right. I was going to do a poll, so just bear with me. What poll? <laughs> You'll find it out in a moment. Just bear with me. Can you do some commentary while I type? Nope. Please? Nope. You don't tell me what's the poll. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what's the poll. What's You'll the find poll? It. I'm typing it out now. Come on, quick. Come on, you're chubby. Fingers. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Two fingers typing is mm, old school. Uh, Why so many ads? Come on. I'm gonna sneak peek. I'm gonna sneak. What's the poll? Should. Hey, 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 you're not uh, allowed to read it yet. Should. No, you're not allowed to read it. Should we? Ah. Should we? You can read it in a second. Come on. Oh, man. What's going on? What's going on? Put on. What's going on? Press the game. Again? What's going on with this? Oh, it's the ad. So it's called Uphill Rush, so you know it. Okay. Uphill Rushes. Did that poll post? Can you see it now? Mm, I can't see from this one. Uh, I'm not sure if that... Did that work? How can I boost? Hmm... Uh, if someone can let me know whether they can actually see that poll. Nah, I can't see it. You can't What's see it? Anything? Should we what? Hang on. Oh, I don't want to type that all, all out again. I'll see if I can copy it. Let's try that again. Oh, this stream's not starting off that well, is it? You're too slow. Uh, oh, it's not letting me check, do a check, poll. Check, 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 What happens if I just remove that option? Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it just didn't like me putting in an extra option. All right, done. I think that poll is there now. Uh, we did... The rehab, it did not work. Yeah, because that, that often happens as well. Mmm, it's a tough one, isn't it? What would you do? What? In that, if you had someone that had some sort of addiction within the, the family or a loved one, how would you tackle that? Mmm. Because re rehab didn't work, apparently. Well, it can work sometimes. It's it's just the start. You kind of have to work on it by yourself. Mm, that is true. And you can also, I don't know, get them to go to a doctor. 
Doctors can often help. There's even medications that you can take for that sort of thing. Uh, Peter, and of course, there's going to be balance changes in the game as well. Have you? I've almost finished upgrading. There's a few more things to go. Uh, yes, I saw. Oh, okay. So they can see the poll now, which is good. Hundred <laughs> percent. Can you see the top of the poll there? Yeah. <laughs> No one's voting no and no one's saying you're a good girl. They're, they're smart. They know, the DLG knows stink pants very well. What? I don't see anyone what? Who, who what? Well, I can see 100% there. So, uh, can I pull that up? Does it, oh yeah, three votes. There you go, three votes. All saying yes. Uh, okay, he does not take his medi medication. Um... That is hard. Yeah, but like isn't people... there a way to... Like, you force me to take meds. You just say, take huh? it now, and I take it. I can't force when I'm not around, right? So you still have to take care of yourself. Do you... Re don't you notice I don't ask you anymore these days? But I'm on it. I guess that's the difference. Like, I actually take it. So, you know, if it's, if it's once a day, then you're going to be home once a day, surely. You just make them take it then. Uh, Inferno Dragon ramp up speed of Inferno Dragon's beam attack has been slowed. Oh, slowed? That's not good. <laughs> you struggle with the, the uh, e drags as they are. Why, well, hang on. Is there a difference between Inferno Dragon and e Dragon? I don't know. You'd think I'd know Clash of Clans by now, but I still don't. You call it this thingy and that thingy. I only know the dragon and e-dragon and then you have the dragon rider. I don't know what is inferno dragon. Is it something in goblin map? Yeah, it might be. Uh, yeah, it might be actually. So I don't know the answer to that. Um, and then if you have more, uh, Clayton, just let me know. I'm, I'm really not sure. <coughs> Excuse me, because I haven't personally had to to get someone to do that. Uh, well, actually, no, that's not true. I have. I had one friend that I said to him, I suppose I can story time. He's not even in the country anymore. Oh. That I had this mate that uh, rang me up at one or two o'clock in the morning to come and pick him up from the police station. Uh, he got arrested for drink driving straight after he had a previous ban on driving for drink driving. And I blasted him for, I forced him to stay with me for a weekend with uh, his, well, wife now. I think they were husband and wife back then as well. And just berated him into getting some professional help. So he ended up going to a, I think, psychologist for a while. And it did help. Uh, I also, and I'm not saying this is going to help in your situation, but we had a, have a very good relationship. So at one point... Uh, I went round to his house to pick up his wife so that they could come and stay with me. And at the same time, I took all of the alcohol that was in his house so that he couldn't couldn't uh, have anything, no temptations, and just, you know, basically said to him, look, you had a driving restriction for, it was nearly two years, 18 months or something like that, and then straight away you go and drink and drive again, you've got a problem. So maybe that helps. Um, I also, you should do reaction videos. Oh, I don't, well, we haven't, um, I don't know how we would do that. We could try. Uh, sting, sorry, old Uncle peter has got a lot to learn when it comes to trying oh. to stream from a, um, computer. I've never done that before. Spidey's here. He won his first game today. I'm guessing that's in Gridiron. Congratulations! Oh, nice one! So what one. was the score and how did it go? Oh, Kane's saying the Inferno Dragons from Clash Royale. He only ever played that once. <laughs> so we don't know what that's about. Now, I don't know if the live chat is interested, but every time... Oh, you got a no vote for Don't Torment the Stinky. What? <laughs> so someone's being kind to you. Someone's saying, no, don't torment the stinky with horror games all of October. Oh. You're being outvoted at the moment. 
Hi, hi there everybody in this virtual chat room. Hello Mig, I think you're, it's the first time that you've been to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the DLD. Uh, now I'll, again while I wait for the live chat to, to talk and change the topics, I'm hoping that everyone is interested in what a mad crazy week we've had in Australia. We've had world records, we've had Australian records broken all in one week, plus the AFL Grand Final. And I don't know who won because number one, our team wasn't in it, and number two, Stinky didn't want to watch it, and number three, it wasn't even where it's traditionally held. So that kind of uh, made it less exciting for us overall. Having said that, the, the two teams that were playing have not won a premiership for a long time. All right, so what's been happening in Australia this week? And oh my goodness, am I going to go on a rant? I feel like I, I have to use the platform for any Australians that are out there, you know, stand up against this sort of behaviour because it's abhorrent, it's disgusting, it's deplorable. People just shouldn't do it. So what am I talking about? And by the way, there's good stuff as well. Uh, you're a special king of unique tenderness and art. Lovers who have stylish lives. Uh, we do watch a lot of art channels. I don't know if that's what that's in reference to, but try to give encouraging things where we can, leave encouraging comments. All right, we'll talk about natural disasters in a minute, but I want to kind of save that to the end. All right, so we all know about the cough cough, and we've had a horrendous couple of weeks. Uh, we're getting the highest record cases just about every day, which is not good. And what's been happening with that? Well, you got the protesters again. And uh, the, they are... It's going to be super spreader. Yeah, they're going to be super spreaders, number one. And just to give you a little bit of a backstory, these, at least on the first day of protesting, oh, and I'm a soothsayer, by the way, in the last few weeks, everything I've been saying has come to fruition. Look at me. Look at you. I'll give you some, no, I won't say that. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll give you some lotto numbers. Don't, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> no, your Why lotto do that? number sucks. Uh, Mighty Yak damage has been removed from the Mighty Yak's attacks. I sent many spooky games in stream requests. Thank you, awesome. Because I need that. They're very hard to find. Or well, I find them hard. All right. So these protests were organized uh, for the Monday when we actually streamed. And they were primarily the tradesmen, people that work in the building industry. Now, they had a forced lockdown of two weeks. They were able to work before that. And then all of a sudden they get a, a two-week lockdown because uh, it's spreading quite badly at the moment. And the rest of us have been locked down for months. Speaking of a world record, Australia now has the world record for the most locked down city. Mm -hmm. So why? Why would they do that? Yeah, all right, you, you want to worry about your personal rights. And I don't know if you guys can remember from last week where I was saying there's, I find it a very interesting philosophically about the rights to your own body versus the rights of society or businesses. So, you know, if some people don't want to wear a mask or they don't want to take the jab, get the vaccination, well, you know, I guess that's your personal right. But don't expect the rest of us to uh, respect your rights when you're in society. And it turns out that actually happened. So now we do have mandates where um, cool video report on your personal style. Congratulations from this part of the world. Where are you from, me? I'm, I'm curious. You don't have to answer that, but always curious to know where people are. So anyway, yeah, these guys have protested. And one of the reasons, aside from not being able to work, is they have a mandate saying, if you aren't fully vaccinated, you can't work here. So it actually happened on the day that I was saying this could potentially happen. All right, now they got violent. They did terrible things to people and animals. Um, and they also did it in what is considered almost hallowed ground in one of the cities where we have a war memorial. Oh, the shrine. Yeah, and 
So here's some good things that came out of that. Number one, there is a Aboriginal guy that went down to the shrine while they were protesting. Now, this guy is a veteran. He fought for Australia. He's also a tradesman. So he was part of that group that was protesting. And he said to them, don't do it here, number one. You know, if you're going to do it, go somewhere else. Don't do it here, right? Now, he wasn't part of the protest, which is a Hang second... Hang on, you good... said he was, so he, he is he's or part, he's... He's part of the group that... Group of what? Tradesmen. Okay. So he's a tradesman. He himself wasn't protesting, oh. but he felt an obligation to go down there to say, look, guys, don't do it here. Go Go down the road and do it if you have to. I don't recommend that you do it at all, but if you're going to, leave the shrine alone. It's sacred. And I agree with that. Now, the second good thing that came out of it was after these people were arrested and moved on and whatever else, another group of people came down and cleaned up the the shrine because they left a mess. So I thought that was brilliant. That was, I guess, like a secondary quiet, peaceful protest saying, we're not going to stand for this. We'll go and help out and clean things up. Mm. So I thought that was fantastic. Now, the third one is, oh, Spain. So, uh, buenos tardes, amigos. I don't know if that's Spanish or Portuguese. I think someone in the chat can actually speak Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, Kane says, Xbox level 9 for 18 and a half million gold and 19 days to upgrade. I didn't know that they had uh, Clash of Clans on Xbox. Wow. Uh, so, the second thing that happened is... Another record was broken in that the most number of vaccines, I think the following day, there was something like 98,000 in one area. So maybe that was a reaction to the protesters saying, we're not going to stand for this either. So I think that's really, really good. Mm. It's good to see that people are uh, in their own way saying, yeah, this isn't great. Now, another one... One of the protesters was interviewed on TV, and guess what happened to that person? Interviewed by who? Just by a news reporter. It was in the news. Okay. This guy said, I was part of the protesters. Stop protesting. Go home. You're spreading it. He caught the cough cough and was fighting for his life. He said that himself. I assume he ended up in ICU. They didn't mention that, but he said he was fighting for his life. So, you know, he was in amongst those guys and he had the cough cough and it's probably spread even more as a result of that. So, you know, learn, guys. There's a bit of a a rant there. I better grab a pen because I actually made a lot of notes here. You got anything to contribute to that, Stinky? Mm, No. So, yeah, stop the right... Oh, yeah. And last rant on that part. Leave... The frontline workers alone. They're just doing their job. And guess what? They're risking their lives every day to help everyone else. So to have people spit on you and throw liquid at you and abuse you, that's just crazy. Who do you think you are? Oh, look at old Uncle Poodot ranting and ranting. Now we'll come back to it. The second one, Stinky, what was the most exciting thing? And I don't want to belittle, you know, serious... Um, natural disasters, but for us it was exciting and no one got hurt. Mm-hmm. So that's why... I want to get... <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm going to film it. <laughs> so what happened? We got an earthquake. We got an earthquake. We got the quake quake. That's it, the highest so far that happened to recorded. me. It was the highest ever recorded in that state. And uh, depending on who you speak to, it was either 5.9 or 6 on the Richter scale. Now, there was only minor damage, one building... It uh, can't be that much difference. <laughs> what do you it mean? Depends on who you talk to. It's not depend on who talk you talk to. It's going to be depend on, you know, whatever they use to measure it. And depends on the location. If you are oh, from I, the, you I, know, the I, center. Yeah, I understand. But uh, the news report said five point nine, but my own father said it was six. Uh-huh. So he got <laughs> some report from somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. But the whole house shook, and it was just crazy. 
Someone's woke up. Oh, yeah. (laughs) What the heck is that? Now, since... Oh, yeah. And then the next day there was something like 12 tremors and I didn't feel anything. Very minor. Learned something as well. That uh, apparently Australia gets something like 200 earthquakes a year, but most of the time no one feels them. So, or here we go with a geography lesson. When it comes to tectonic plate earthquakes, they're kind of rare for Australia just because we're in the middle of our tectonic plate. Unlike, say, California or Japan or New Zealand, they all are right on the fault line of the tectonic or the edge of the tectonic plate. That's why they get such bad earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Whereas we're in the middle. So even if we get them, they're, they're not often felt and they're called intra something, which I've written down somewhere, but I've got a lot of notes here. You better put some highlights on or yeah. use some, you know, magic pen, red pen, something. That's right. So it was an exciting time, I reckon. I've never experienced well, that. Well, especially when there's no one hurt and I think only one building, it's the, what do you call it, heritage building? Yeah. That is kind of fall down a little bit. And yes. They have to renovate that. That was the worst affected one. Just one building in the entire city and then minor damage with... You know, thing. There's one guy interviewed. He had a few bricks fall off his chimney, oh. and in some shops, stuff fell over, and oh. that was about it. So there you go. The the largest earthquake ever recorded in that state. Mm. The longest lockdown city in the world. It's all happening mm. now. On that note, uh, what do you think about the probably lab manipulated? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm so Mig, I'm kind of just because of monetization, we've got to be very careful about conspiracy theories. Now, I did actually watch a documentary on this just the other night, and then I will say that that uh, document, or it's a news report from 60 Minutes, I should say, maybe not documentary. Well, I don't know what you guys are talking about to begin with. Whether the old cough cough might have happened in a lab rather than naturally. Oh. So there, there seems to be some sort of, sort of evidence for that, but there's probably equal amount of evidence to suggest that it occurred uh, naturally somehow. Uh, because, you know, stinky new viruses occur all the time, don't they? It doesn't necessarily Look at have this to be one. person-made. <laughs> <laughs> but up. You're doing well. Uh, so in European countries, it appears in high clouds in the sky. Interesting. Um, mm. I hadn't heard that. I might look into that after the stream, Mig. So thank you for letting me know. Um, I guess at this point, uh, I guess at this point, let the scientists and the politicians worry about that. I would say we just need to worry about ourselves and make sure that, you know, we minimize any kind of spread and do the right thing. That's what that boils down to. Now, seeing as we're going back on this topic, I would like to um, just go through some of the notes. So there was a, a person that was interviewed uh, after the the earthquake and also the stuff with the cough cough. And I thought she had a, a brilliant quote. I wrote it down word for word. Whoa. She said, the world is giving us a sign. We all need to calm down. <laughs> We all need to calm down a bit. And I think that's a great quote. We do. You think about it. There's tensions all over the place at the moment for various reasons. You know, there's a lot of economic hardship. You've got the cough cough. You've got people that are just sick of of being locked down. or I'm sick of it. Yeah, and you just (laughs) want life to go back to normal. But, you know, we, we have to... This is, you've never gone through a a pandemic. I've never gone through one. So this is new to us. Plus it's a new one. So, you know, we don't really know. We can't predict the future. We can look at history and say, this is what worked or this is what didn't work. Mm. And we can learn from that. But it does require a little bit of calm. That's what I think about that. I'm sick of... Not be able to go back home. I want to go overseas. I want to go to travel. Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? I'm sorry. I want to go to restaurant. I want to eat. We can't even do that at the moment. So, well, again, stop doing your your crazy stuff with the Congress. Oh, 
What? I've got to say, when I went to get my coffee this morning, yeah. it was insane how many people were out. And yeah, they, it's good weather today. It is, but they're congregating. It's not. What do you mean? There's a whole heap of them down that street. Like, insane number of people just sitting around, masks down or off. About half-half uh, is people not wearing their mask properly and half are. So, uh, I don't know. I just get the coffee and come home. That's what I did. Now, we're going to be a little bit all over the place just because of the way that I wrote the notes. Yep. Uh, and, yeah, normal. Mig says people should stay safe and enjoy life in safety mode. I agree with that. As tough as it is to not uh, be out and about and hanging out with your friends... Again, now's not the time. Once we have a better understanding, once more people are vaccinated, I oh, will go on a, a tangent here about the vaccinations because we talked about this. People that think it's dangerous or scary or whatnot, that's just not true, is it? The, of what? Well, to put it in its most simplest form, if you get a vaccination, you're just being injected with dead or dying cells. Well, not really because it's... That's in the past, probably, but now we got different technology now. Well, like, which is even better, you'd have to assume. I hope so. <laughs> and all it does is just allow your body to recognise what's attacking it and to build antibodies for it. Like, that's a good thing, isn't it? So even if it doesn't work 100% effectively, it's not going to do you any harm unless you're one of the very, very few that has an adverse reaction. Well, let's say there's no vaccination that is 100%, 100% efficacy. Yeah. It's nothing. Well, from personal experience, I can say when I was a child, there were kids at school that had chicken pox, the measles, small pox. And the one what... who had chicken pox. Yeah. And I never got it because I was vaccinated. I was hanging around those children. Mm -hmm. Didn't get anything. Yeah. So there you go. I uh, got chicken pox. Now, you know, from my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> now, just for something for the live chat to think about, what natural disasters have you experienced, if any? Uh, what are you subject to in your area? So for me personally, definitely floods. I've been in, uh, lived in a small town that's been flooded a few times. It's right on the river. Uh, bushfires are certainly a big thing here. Uh, I wasn't personally affected in that town. They always seemed to peter out before it got to where we were. Right. But there was time. one time I was travelling from uh, Queensland to Victoria or Victoria to Queensland, I can't remember, and New South Wales had massive bushfires. That was a little bit scary because you could see them. You could actually see in the distance this red-orange glow and I was heading towards it. <laughs> But just, you know, listen to the radio and make sure everything's fight, uh, safe. Uh, it's like installing antivirus in our computers. Yeah, I think so in a way, isn't it? Is that a good way to put it? It's not 100... If you install an antivirus on the computer, not 100% effective, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> so that's the yeah, way right. to look at it. Uh, so let us know in the chat about the natural disasters. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going on. I mentioned New Zealand, Japan and California. Uh, you know, it's pretty common in my country to have floods. Yeah. Because it's, it's kind of... Flat? Subtropical, tropical, whatever. It rains a lot. Yep, it rains a whole lot. And a lot of that country is flat. You do have mountainous regions, but... Mm -hmm. You know, when I've travelled... got a plane and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So be careful when that happens. Sometimes you see people wanting to go and swim and play in it. That's just silly. Well, you actually... Well, I remember in the past, they always... When they got flat, it's go to the roof. Like, people actually have to stay on the roof. Wow. Okay. And do they get rescued eventually? Like, boats come along and... Yeah, yeah. Say, come and get off your roof? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know if we've had... I mean, we've had bad ones. Not me personally, I haven't experienced that. But where, you know, houses are basically mm. underwater. Mm -hmm. It does happen. Yeah, it does happen. Even in, like, capital city, it happens before too. Usually, um, in capital city, it's a plain, so it's not like mountain region and whatnot. But... Oh. But... And it's got better sewer than other city. 
That was one time that. So when it's flat, it's go to like a knee height. It's not the whole house, but yeah, that was some time that it was bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you actually got flat. If you live in condominium or apartment, it's flat, like in your car park. Oh wow! Okay. You have to stay in your what level two, level three, mm. something like that. And yet, if it's an earthquake, as we saw, people came running out of the high rises. We in actually their don't have a lot of earthquake because we are not in the EP center. Mm. Usually, it's in like um, Myanmar, Burma kind of border, right. and then we might have like the effect right. of it. The so it's not shot. really, it's not really high. Right. But well, you know, if you're in the high, um, high riser, you actually felt more. Mm, I would not want to be in a high rise when it comes to an earthquake. That's for sure. Do you know why? Uh, more movement, higher physics. The building sways more. Yeah, it's just like you're shaking your pen in your hands, and yeah, at the tip there, it's shaking more than the bottom part, right? So. That's why. Not great. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, yeah, and on that note, I will say um, the tremors or the earthquakes that we feel here are because of the intraplate earthquake, not because of the fault line or the the uh, being on the edge of the tectonic plate, which is why we don't feel most of them. Ooh. There you go. I'm There's... not balancing well here. Are you doing well? No. Oh yeah, and I said I'd go all over the place just because of the way I've written the notes. There was another nurse that was interviewed about the old cough cough, and she just straight up said she just dealt with a 35-year-old man who came to hospital saying, you know, myself and my family don't believe in it, and they tested him. He was positive, and he ended up in the ICU. Mm. So there you go. These... Uh, theories that think it's all made up. I don't understand how they can think like that. Lots of kisses to us both, says Meg. We're kissing you right back. I really need to learn some more Spanish or Portuguese. But non habla espanol. Is that how it works, Stinky? You don't know, do you? Oh, Janelle, David's here. Yes, I do remember you. It's been a very long time. How have you been, buddy? Uh, is everything good in your neck of the woods? Because uh, I've heard that, if I can remember the country correctly, that things aren't great there either. But it's really good to see you. What have you been up to? We're just chatting about all kinds of things at the moment. So, <coughs> Piff, please feel free to contribute as you see fit. Uh, where was I? I can't even read my own handwriting. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say about going to hospital. Now, if you've if you've gone to hospital, it's not a good experience. It's not fun, is it? I've been to hospital three or four times in my life, and I can tell you, it's, you don't go to hospital unless you're really, really sick, unless there's something that uh, your normal doctor or just you yourself can't deal with at home. So again, you know, be safe out there. Stay at home. Just wait for for the world to take care of itself and then we'll be okay. But if you want to risk things, that's not so good. Uh, yes, long time being busy with the last year of school. So if you, you don't have to get too personal with this, Janelle. But again, I'm just very curious because I was talking to one of my uh, friends who's got a, a teenage child and I was asking him, how difficult is it? Difficult! And, yeah. Well, he was saying that the the kids that are doing year 12 during all of this, they really suffer. Or well, final year, as Janelle put it, um, Form 6, I think it might also be called, or senior year, oh. depending where you are in the world. It would be very difficult to try and do that from home, you know, especially if you're doing... Imagine if you, you're doing all the science subjects. You need to be in a lab. How are you going to do that from home? With a virtual lab, it's not quite the same thing, is it? So let me know. Is it, is it difficult? Is it? Are you managing? I feel very sorry for you, Janelle, to be honest, because uh, I know that we 
I had a disruptive year in my final year, just in the sense that they changed the system. So the year before, or two years before that, it had been the, the same system for forever. And then uh, the next year they sort of did a half-half, so it was under the old and the new system. And then we had the completely new system and it was a little bit of a debacle. Uh, everyone got through and, and is okay and went on to whatever careers they decided to choose. But yeah, it's always a bit hard when things aren't normal. Uh, so you let me know. And uh, Mig, same with you if you're still there. You let me know what's going on. Uh, again with all of the other DLD. Alright, so... Try and stay out of hospital, I guess, was the conclusion there. <laughs> uh, and, oh, the final thing I'll say... Well, it might not be the final, depending on the notes. Uh, I was talking to Stinky about triaging. You do not want to be in a situation with the cough cough where you're being triaged for whether or not they will let you live or die. That is worst case scenario, and it has happened elsewhere in the world. You don't want to be in that situation, isn't it? I would hate to, to think you go to hospital and they do an assessment on you and go, no, we're just, sorry, we're not going to help you. Mm. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. So do the right thing. Wear your mask, be safe, stay at home. All that jazz. Alright, so that's that. Oh, I've got it. Oh, yeah, the extra freedom stuff as well. That's just going back to the protesters. What those protesters don't realise is each day that they do that is costing more time for the rest of us. So we've already been told if you get X number of people uh, that have been fully vaccinated, then we'll start opening up more freedoms. But when you've got people going out in public doing crazy stuff, well, they're saying, well, no, we're just going to lock you down for longer. For the most locked down city in the world. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, should I go on a rant about Ben Shapiro? I like Ben Shapiro. I think he's very intelligent. I don't know about his personal life, but just I think he argues very well. He's a great orator, very eloquent um, certainly I would not want to go up against him in an argument but in this case I would because he's been talking about Australia a little bit about us losing our rights and freedoms and how you know you don't want to go down that path and I can make a couple of um, analogies here the first one would be about gun control uh, we we don't have the same culture that they do in America. Like, it's a very big thing there. It was not really part of our culture here, but people used, when I was younger, you could get a gun relatively easily if you wanted to. And also I grew up in a rural area where there is a culture, but it's mainly in the on the farms. Not a lot of townspeople would have uh, that kind of weapon, but most farmers probably did. And that's because out, that's out of necessity. You need it to, you know, put down animals if they're suffering or uh, take care of your crops and livestock uh, from predators, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, that's kind of normal. But if you don't know the history here, for a long, long time, Australia actually had the, the record for uh, a massacre. And when that happened very soon afterwards our government just said right that's it no more guns or <coughs> not no more but just very very difficult to get very heavy restrictions and we've never had a uh, incident like that since so again I'd be saying you know your rights have been removed sort of but it was for the betterment of society so there's nothing wrong with that and again, he's saying, you know, your personal rights, uh, Ben Shapiro is talking about, you're losing your personal rights in Australia. And my response to that is we're not really. Our government is trying its very best to, to try and contain this situation at the expense of rights, but it's not permanent, you know, and they're just going to do it for as long as is necessary. Whoa, uh, Sim, oh, I hope I can say this correctly, Cynthia Kuma Michael is here. Hello, how are you? Uh, Vanakam, I'm not sure what that means. They're saying nice game. 
I believe it's multiplayer if you want to play with stink pants. Have you seen anything about how to invite people? Or I don't know, but I'm racing with other people. Yeah, you are. So I guess that's how it works. I well, don't know. They did advertise there's like 50 million players in this game, so it's a popular one. That's for sure. Uh, so yes, to you, Ben Shapiro, I say, look, you can have your own point of view, but I'm kind of happy that our government is doing this. It's, they're trying to protect us. All right, so that's that one. Now, what, I'm almost out of notes at this point. Uh, sometimes we have to make personal sacrifices for the greater good. Oh, that's just me ranting about myself there. Uh-oh. Uh, game game title record break. Oh no, that's I uh, didn't even end up using that title. That's it. I'm done. I've done my my rant for today. Oh, thank God. <laughs> goodness, stinky uh. don't blaspheme. Thank goodness. Okay, how long did you rant? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five or minute rant. That's my not too bad. goodness, finally. <laughs> Well, that's because I'm waiting for you to come up with topics or for the, the live chat to do it. You got anything? Me? Yeah. Pow. <laughs> what was that? Just uh, follow the song. Nothing. So Mick says, cool report. Thank you for that, Mick. Um, again, I'm curious, like, how is it where you are? Are, are things good or bad? Are people restful or unrest? Um, not unrestful. What's what the... do you mean, restful? So, <laughs> restless, I should say. Are people restless? So, I'll give you examples, and I hope this doesn't get us demonetized for saying it, but Lebanon, for example, has got its a really... Uh, not only got to deal with a cough-cough, but they've got a pretty severe financial crisis going on at the moment. Apparently, petrol's really, really hard for them to get. Getting basic needs food water that sort of thing very difficult to get at the moment so you know doing it tough i can only imagine what india is like i'm sure they're doing it really tough there oh slaughter's here as well welcome it's good to see him too how have you been so did i hear the the moo, 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 moo? oh yeah i better let in the kitty cat i'll be right back where's the moo, moo? to do the commentary while I check the kitty cat there. Uh, how have you been, Slaughter? And any discussions that Mig, Slaughter, What's Seneth, that, the cat? Seneth Kumar, I might call him Michael if that's all right, because at least I can pronounce that. Mm. Uh, any interesting topics you'd like to discuss today? Because for Slaughter anyway, he's just missed a 45 minute rant. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's all right. You don't miss anything. Ah, <laughs> stinky. Right, that's it. What's, uh, the, what's the voting poll? 86% we should torment you next month. <laughs> yeah, well, you do it anyway. Yeah. Why you have to make a poll? Uh, cool report on your own personal style. So we do try to, to personalise the streams uh, quite a bit, I guess. Without, you know, don't, don't dox yourself for anything. Don't provide anything too personal highly encourage that um yeah so what have i got stinky i'm in a good mood it's a lovely day oh you're in a lovely day yeah oh uh, this we, one is we ourselves back, might back. have to go out later on when it's quiet find somewhere you better go out really quiet go out out, out away out, from the out, rest of the crowds out. Uh, getting there every day says slaughter how about you guys it's pretty much the same just living it day by day uh, trying our best to to be safe mm. isn't it it's such strange times we're living in mm. to have so many things going on at once and I'm, I'm sure like you know if you spoke to a grandfather or a great grandfather that's gone through a war where well, you haven't you know that would be that would be something but to have what we're going through at the moment yeah it's it's hard to explain how it makes you feel how does it make you feel isolated yep there i is. don't know it's tough but you sort still... of mentally more than physically so for you personally 
what I don't understand is you do actually get to go out of the house on a regular because you have to work, like you work out, whereas I work at home. Yeah, but you are kind of introvert, homey person anyway, yeah, and you actually prefer stay at home. Yeah, so look. you are really nourished okay. and you know, ah, this is my time. This is a great time for me. I spoke to one of my my uh, best friends from school, though, and he said that he's thoroughly enjoying working from home. Yeah, I, I don't I don't mind working from home. I actually like um, half half. You know, you spend some time at home doing other things as well as working, and then you might go for catch up like meeting with workmates, mm. whatnot, maybe twice a week or mm. something like that. That's fine. But um, you can't really do that. At the the thing is, they are colleagues. So, yeah. You know, colleagues can can be friends, but sometimes they are not. Mm. And yeah, they they are not here. <laughs> if you ever have this a, workplace, if you ever have a drinks night, I'd recommend going to it. It doesn't mean you have to drink. You just go and socialize for, for a little bit, work out whether you like them or not, and then don't go like me. I'd go to a couple, and then it'd be like, nah, I don't want to hang out with people from work. Real teams here. Good to see you too. How have you been? So Mig's saying uh, the the weapons are dangerous. You're right about that. Yeah, look, I don't think it's necessary. If you're living in a safe society, and I would say Australia is relatively safe, I'll talk about criminality in a minute, that um, they're not really necessary here unless you're a farmer. Like, yeah, you need to have them if you're a farmer here, but other than that, do you really need them? Now, we have a strange criminal element in, a, in Australia. So people that aren't involved in that world... The criminals call us clean skins. And what that means is like a bottle of wine. So there are some uh, wine bottles that just don't have labels on them. So it's often the excess wine from an actual company that they they sell it cheaper to someone that just bottles it, but they don't put any label on it. Mm -hmm. So that's a clean skin. And the criminal element call us clean skins because we're not involved in, in that world. And they actually keep the more serious sort of uh, crimes, particularly when it comes to guns, amongst themselves. So it's very, very rare that you even have these reports uh, in the news. And when they do, it's usually one criminal attacking another criminal. They're not attacking ordinary citizens. So I think that's why it's not bad to have those sorts of things here. Uh, he did, as Slaughter said, I'd tell you I'd be here for the next stream. We're happy he's here too. What's been going on in your neck of the woods? So, yeah, look, vote with your feet. Vote with uh, vote with your voices. But uh, try not to protest during these trying times. All right, so Real Team saying, I was playing Dodge Miner 2 and I broke the game and I can't even load my file. That's no good. So, how did you break the game? What device were you playing it on? So, if you're anything like me that gets aggravated or throw, <laughs> not that I ever have. But... Look at this one. Santa! Where am I looking at Santa? Santa in a bikini? That's what you're riding. Oh, wow. You got some awesome vehicles there, Stinky. Oh, I don't have. That's what I can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> So a typical shopping adventure for you, looking at the really high-end stuff, mm. just to look at. Submarine? It. No, that's just a boat. Okay, let's let's do what we can. Have you been winning in this game? Uh, yes and no. Sometimes it's flip over and <laughs> have to start again. So again, for the people that are in the live chat, this is apparently a multiplayer game. And I read somewhere that they even show where you're from and that sort of thing that show that it's legit. And you don't always win all the time, which you can attest to now, Stinky Pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and the only oh, reason oh. I'm a little stressed is because I was quarantined three times in the first uh, six weeks and I failed most of my classes. So there's another one. I mean, Janelle David was uh, in the, the chat before doing saying he's doing his final year of school. Slaughter also, um, 
just curious about what it is like for you guys to try and and study and clearly it wasn't easy for slaughter but you know he's he's been quarantined what do you do mm. it's very tough isn't it i feel very sorry for the the younger people that you know i guess once you're older and you're in the workforce and everything you have to learn to adapt but for younger people they don't they haven't experienced all of that yet so they're going to have to do it at a younger age which yeah it must be tough um, what advice would you give to, to Slaughter to try and be better at studying at home during quarantine? Well, you might have to set one's area for study so you can concentrate on that when you go there and you know you study. Not like, yeah, do it on your bed, in your bed. That's not gonna work. Yeah, good point. Like, have a desk set up or on the kitchen table or whatever where <laughs> you're specifically dedicated to it. Mm. Uh, Real Team saying is so much stats on that file uh, and Dodge Mine 2 is like nah fam no no. Uh, what, what can you play Dodge Mine on a phone like get it in the app store or what device do you need for it? Because I'll look into that one as well actually no I've got to put it on the game list wherever that is. Oh, I've got lists all over the place at the moment. <laughs> I think you need a new notebook. I think you might be right. Is it easier if you put on the scrapbook where you finish, you just take it out? Uh, I don't know. I need to have a better system, to be honest. I've got these games written everywhere. Uh, and Mick says, like in the Crocodile Dundee movie picture, I can't believe you know Crocodile Dundee. Here's an Aussie film for you, or Aussie American. Uh, and he had a gun just to give him a certain style. That's not a knife, this is a knife. Uh, well, it's kind of hard for me because I have trouble focusing in class and home, and everyone is getting, oh wow. So it's actually spreading. So try and just use the term cough cough rather than the actual um, other phrases to say that we can be monetized. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's spreading where he is. So seriously, no matter no matter what, stay at home if you can. It's just best to do that as as hard as it can be. I dodge minor too. So I haven't. Uh, it's a PC web browser game. Okay. So at some point I'm going to have to look at these PC games, Stinky. I'm pretty sure we can use Streamlabs at that point if you're doing a PC game. You should look into it a little bit more because that doesn't seem to work for the mobile. Um, oh, no need to apologise, Slaughter. Uh, it was actually, who is that penguin who hasn't shown up for a while came up with the old cough cough? Mm. Nick. So, yeah, stay at home, study as hard as you can. It's better to do that than to to go to school and contract it because even if you're younger uh, it's not necessarily a good experience to go through is it well Young yeah but the thing is sick. you you may get sick you got lesser chance to get sick than older people but yeah it's more about you have to protect your family yeah that's the other thing isn't it mm -hmm. and it's certainly here there is i don't know if it's still the case but there was a point in time where most of the cases were actually coming from school kids. So it wasn't the, the adults that were spreading it, it was the kids. And then they'd spread it to their family and then... Yeah, you know, they, yeah. They, don't, they don't feel get sick that often, but then they spread to the older ones in your mm. family and that's no good. Mm. Now, I want to ask you. You want you like shark or dolphin? Oh, I like dolphins, but that shark's oh, pretty funny. On. Oh, plus awesome I can't get that. No, you can't get that one either. <laughs> Dang it. I thought I can. I can't. No, why? I thought I can. It looks like you're enjoying this game at the moment, Stinky. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, hey, Poodle, TGC is coming to the App Store and Google Play, as I heard on my emails. What's TGC? Oh, I might get this dolphin. I'm writing TGC down, but I have no idea what that is. 
Uh, oh, and the reason I was stressed out is because if I fail, then that means I won't be able to play sports. Um, but are you able to play sports at the moment anyway? Because they certainly can't do it here unless you're a professional. They still let, uh, for example, uh, AFL and rugby and all of these sorts of things, cricket as well, they're, they're still letting people play, but not on a local level. Yeah, sports is basically not banned, but you can't do it. Personal exercise is okay. Oh, Pokemon trading card. Okay. Um, so when I looked at the the app store, they only had two Pokemon games there, and we played one of them. And when it comes to the the gaming, if it's a live stream, we tend to make it a landscape game. And it's only the vertical games that if we do them, they'll end up being shorts videos. And it looks like both the Pokemon games were vertical games. The other one being Pokemon Go, which is a really famous one that I don't even know if people play that anymore. You have to be out and about for that. Did you ever try that one, Stinky? Hang on. Oh, she's busy concentrating. So I take it you're a bit of a Pokemon fan real team. Do you collect the, the actual cards? Uh, do you watch the TV series and movies, that sort of thing? Um, and for Slaughter, keep fit at home. Uh, in Spain, we read... Oh, wow. So Mink's saying that in Spain, they've reached 85% vaccinated already. Mm. We're about to reach uh, Freedom Day. So they must have a similar uh, setup in their country that we do here. We also have that target for freedom, if, if that's what you want to call it. So... Mm -hmm. For us, I believe it was 80%, but they're also saying that we might not reach that target because we simply don't have enough vaccines to do it. No, we have enough now. Are you sure? It's just, they said not reach the target date that they set oh, up. Yeah, not, haven't reached the target date. So we'll be, uh, we'll be restricted for a little while longer. But that's great to hear. It sounds like the... Because, you know, Spain was one of the worst affected um, when the first outbreak came out. You remember that? We, we were getting reports from Spain all Italy. the time. I thought Italy. Sorry, Italy was bad. Uh, even worse, I think. Yeah, they had it really, really tough. So it's great to see um, that the people in power or the... You know, governing bodies are taking it seriously and are doing their very best to help out. So that's why I say I don't have a problem with any of that. Um, that's good to hear, Mig. I'm really pleased. It's a very positive thing. You're probably going to have to... We were talking about this as well, that what you probably have to get a jab every year like the flu shot, just because it'll keep mutating and, and so on. But that's fine. Oh, Red December's here. Hello, how are you? It's good to see you too. You've missed the 45-minute rant. <laughs> ah, but that's all right. It was probably quite boring. Uh, real team, you can get cards for battling for win, streak, or redeem a TGC card. You can get them from opening Pokemon card packs. So that's online though, right? Because I used to do a little bit of that, trading cards when I was younger. Mm. I remember trading KISS cards of all things. You know the band Kiss? Kiss? Yeah, and they used to wear the makeup. Gene Simmons with the big long tongue. I think you know one of their songs. You'd recognise them if you saw them. Uh, how have you been, Red? It's good to see you as well. I hope everything's okay where you are. I know she's had a bit of a trying time. One of her dogs celebrated a birthday. Whoa! This Happy is the one birthday. that's so well trained at opening her own pre. Uh, Stardust is female, I think. I mean, I can't remember which one's the boy and the girl, but I think it's the girl. She's very good at opening her own presents. Ah. Straight from the postie, too. He's, you know, hand her a present, she'll take it inside and rip it open. Right. <laughs> Not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I was wondering that, too, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure she'd do that, with, or he would do that with every parcel. So... You're not going to get our kitty cat to do that, that's for sure. Oh, there you go, Stardust is a girl. Sorry, I do. I know the names of them all, I just struggle to remember 
Hey, he's hey. <coughs> so what's been going on with you, uh, Red December? We have Mig in the stream from Spain. We've got Real Team here. We've got Slaughter here. Everyone's going through various things at the moment, which isn't great. There's a little bit of suffering. And uh, just to, just because Red's here for the first time, hey, we just experienced our biggest earthquake ever this week. And it was quite an experience. <laughs> so when you actually walk up, it's still kind of shaking? Yeah, not? the first thing I thought was, what the heck is that? And then, uh, oh, here's, here's the other thing. There is a um, car that parks next to our house that rattles the windows a bit. And I thought it might have been that at first. I'm like, is that that stupid car? But no, then it started the whole house. So that's not a car that can do that. Um, no, 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 don't apologise for, for being late. We're just happy that you're here. And you're not late. You're perfectly on time to vote for. Oh, I have a feeling Red December voted that we shouldn't torment Stinky. The nose oh. are going up slightly. So, uh. <laughs> but it's still very much yes. Yes, we're going to torment Stinky. Uh, <laughs> I will se sell my rares for cash, to be honest. I can make cash from it. That's the other thing. And I don't, there's different rules. Like even Clash of Clans, people sell their accounts and they're not supposed to. But you can make quite a bit of money doing that. If you have an account like mine, it's actually worth a fair bit of money. Because, you know, you've got an established clan, you're the leader, you've pretty much got a high-level account. People will pay money for that. Good money. And, uh, one day. <laughs> no. Not one day. No, supercell, I won't do it. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Look, games and real-life cash. Would you do it, Stinky? Depends on <laughs> how much. Depends on how much. Red, Red December said it was an anonymous vote, but I know she's got you in her corner. But yeah, who knows? She might have voted yes. I can't tell. I will be he honest. Just there. It's an, well, it's an anonymous vote. I don't know who voted what. But I know she comes to your defence every time I pick on you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get uh, the, the new internet connection which will allow us to play some of those PlayStation games. One of them of which is a scary game. <laughs> uh, if you could see Stinky's look on that one. Uh, I have Ch Charizard and it's worth $15. There you go. Actually there's some... Uh, is it the most expensive? We're talking a card game, not, not um, sports memorabilia like sporting card collections but is it magic the gathering has the most expensive trading card if you happen to get it called black lotus i have no idea and about this the the uh fake industry around that is massive people get unfortunately get um conned all the time where you've got these companies that try to print the same magic the gathering cards and they're really good. To the untrained eye, you wouldn't know. Like, you've got to be almost a bit of an expert to, to tell whether or not it's legit or not, legitimate or not. So if you do get into those sorts of things, wow, it can be a, it can be a um, very profitable. Uh, so Mig's saying that vaccinated people are having normal lives without having health problems or even bad reactions. We should all believe in science. That's the most logical, rational thing I've heard in recent times. Pretty much because the news doesn't report a lot of that. It's, they report more of the crazy stuff. But I agree. I 100% agree that you do have to trust in science. I mean, it's shaped the way the world is. And for people that don't believe in that, you know, what can I say? You're very naive. You, you really don't understand how the world works. And, oh, this is the other thing I'll say. Oh, I wanted to talk about, you know... What? Every now, on. every now and again, I like getting into survival mode. Uh-huh. And this is my own personal... I had this discussion with Dad recently, and he said something completely different 
to what he said to me when I was a child, but it was also a different circumstance. Mm -hmm. So I must have done something wrong when I was a little kid and I got into trouble. Yep. And I was quite... Yeah, typical. I was quite young. And he, when he was telling me off, he basically said to me, look, I go out there and I work hard. I put a roof over your head. I put food in your belly and clothes on your back. So while you're living under my household, you live under my rules. And that was it. Now, I asked him recently, what are the most important things in life? And he reeled off five things. And it wasn't quite that, but he wasn't talking survival mode he was talking more about you know you actually need money because if you don't have it then that's not good you need your health you know because if you don't have that then that's not good mm. and three other things i can't remember like well if <laughs> great, i sit if i sit sun over here if i sit and think about it i might be able to to say but otherwise there's going to be silence and you don't do enough commentary do you want me to think about the other three love I said that to him, and he said, oh, I'm going to have to think about that. So, That's what I got from Britannia, the series. <laughs> yeah, look, I think there are exceptions to every rule, but for most human beings, they need companionship of one form or another, which is what makes you know the current climate quite difficult. If you're living alone at home, it would be very tough, I think, to, to be in lockdown. People do need, as a general rule, companionship, unless you're a hermit you know someone that really doesn't want to be part of society so yeah i'd be saying that oh weeb's here as well welcome to the stream weeby it's good to see you um i thought you said that you weren't going to show up from we had a little bit of a back and forth on the in the comments section saying that she wasn't going to be available this weekend oh but okay. she's here which is good she was going to help us with the gutcha life but oh. my apologies to you weeb i i said it in the the um, comment as well was saying that it was supposed to be last Sunday and it ended up being Monday. So she might have been waiting for it. But we got through it thanks to Awesome Pug. He was giving us a lot of good advice. All right. So going back to that, um, I will add the fourth one about medical care. I think that's extremely important. You know what I mean? That's got to be right up there. So if you've got a roof over your head, you got food in your belly, you've got clothes on your back, and you've got access to, to good medical care, that's pretty much the most important things in life. Now, let me expand that. A roof over your head doesn't mean some sort of survival shelter. It means to be in a safe, you know, where you're, you feel safe, you're at home. You know, you don't have to worry about the, the natural elements, that sort of thing. It's just living in a normal abode. Right? Or survival shelter if you are in a survival situation, I guess. But that's what I mean, roof over the head. Food in the belly, of course, that means uh, water as well. Or, you know, if you're talking survival, you need water. But basically making sure that you're not starving or dehydrated or whatever, you need that to survive. If you want to throw in oxygen there as well, you can. Just, <laughs> you know what I mean when I say food in your belly? Like things are okay on that front. <laughs> Clothes on your back is necessary for most people in most countries, but not everywhere. There's, you know, it's still, I guess, African and tribes and maybe Amazonian tribes that run around near naked, so they don't really need that. But, you know, living in our environment, you're going to struggle with no clothes because it does get a little bit chilly. A little bit? Yeah. It's so chilly in spring. Yeah. See, you would need them. And then the last one's medical medical care. So for all of these, this is going right back to the protesting. What are you actually protesting? Your life is not that bad. And you're very lucky to be in this country. You know, if something really bad happens to you, you can. we've got a good welfare system. We have one of the, I don't know if it's one of the best, because I've heard Swedish welfare systems really good. Some of the European welfare systems are excellent. But ours is good too, you know, you're not going to, if you... Well, basically, you can't say it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we still, every country has homelessness, you know, and there's people that struggle. And even one of the um, guy, Clayton, before was saying, you know, there's a problem with alcoholism that they've they've got in their, amongst their loved ones. So people are going to have problems. But, you know, if you live in one of those lucky countries... 
And by the way, that was the other thing I was going to say to those protesters. Don't forget, Australia is known as a lucky country. You're lucky to live here. It's not a privilege. Uh, sorry, it's not a right, it's a privilege. Imagine being born in a third, uh, no, what do you call it? Developing country or one of the poorer countries in the world. They struggle a lot more. You know, you've got it pretty good here. Uh, it's a good thing the stream was today because... To, oh, it's Weeb's birthday tomorrow. Say happy birthday to Weeb tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Am I at least allowed to say someone and someone else's birthdays are close to each other? Mm, yeah. So, Stinky, am I allowed to say you had one recently? Yep. So, Stinky had her birthday recently and it's very close to yours, Weeb. You already said it before Ask me permission. So what? Well, I never gave the date, though. That's what Are I'm we saying. allowed to say this? <laughs> you already said it. <laughs> you know, old Uncle Peter doesn't have good logic. That's how that works. So, do you have anything? Uh, well, I don't even know if I should ask that. But is anything special planned for your birthday, Weeb? Have you asked for certain presents to get? I had to convince Stinky to to have. It wasn't even really presents, but have a nice meal and. Uh, even a birthday cake, I had to convince her to get one. She's like, I don't want one. I got it for you anyway, didn't I? And you ate it more than half anyway. Yeah, you better right? start getting into it before <laughs> there's none left. So you actually brought it for yourself, so stop using me as an excuse. I bought two cakes. <laughs> oh my God. Just to make sure you'd like one. And Weeb says, no, nothing special. It's probably the best for that though, Weeb. Uh, if if where you are is anything like where we are, it's better to just have a quiet quiet time at home, maybe just with the family and, and leave it at that. Don't do anything too extravagant. Uh, but happy to know that you, you are having a birthday tomorrow. I hope it'll be a good one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll be thinking of you. I'm not sure if you're in the Discord server with us, but I can't even get into it at the moment. So, uh, otherwise I'd send a message there, say, wish you a happy birthday. Uh, oh, we celebrated today. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. Yeah. But why, now I'm curious, why wouldn't you celebrate it tomorrow? Because it's still, it'd be still the weekend, I'm guessing. Maybe they have to go to study or work or do something else? Well, it depends where she is in the, the world. Because for the Americans, it's only Saturday today. It's Sunday tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay. So Real Team's offer was good to interact with you there. Real Team, you have a fantastic week. Take it easy. Thanks for the game suggestions too. Much appreciated. And thank you also to Mig for wishing a happy birthday to Weeb. Mmm, wishing you happy birthday. What else have we got? I'm so glad that uh, Mig can actually speak English too, because we've had... <coughs> we haven't seen the Italian lady for a while, <coughs> but we used to interact with her quite a bit, but we'd have to do the Google Translates. She would also translate for us into English. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it? So, tomorrow... Oh, there you go. Tomorrow is church. Oh, can you still do that? I haven't even heard anything about that, but yeah. that's an interesting one. Do we have restrictions on... Yeah, we you must. Can't you can't do it. Gathering people mm. for I don't know how many people now, but yeah. So, I mean, you, you know, I don't know a huge amount about any religion really, but is there heavy restrictions if you're... Uh, not restrictions, are there heavy practices that you have to do if you're a certain religion? Like Maybe. I saw the news another day. There is some kind of, I don't know, you call it belief religion. It's some kind of unfamiliar name, but they have to gather and do something at the river. All right. And uh, Did so you they... saw that before? No, but they can't, so they can't do it? They shouldn't do it, but they did, and I don't know if they got fined or something. All oh, right, Yeah, because that's it. You know, religious freedom is one of those ultimate freedoms that people are supposed to have as a personal right. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but 
I believe the Jewish have to go to a synagogue on a Saturday. Uh, Christians or Catholics go to church on a Sunday. And now you can't do it. So is that breaching your personal rights? I guess in a way it is. But again, you weigh up the personal rights versus rights of society. And then I guess the, the Muslims don't necessarily have to go. I don't know. Don't, don't know. They but they're not saying. To, well, okay, you're right. But... I'm just going to say I thought as long as you're praying to Mecca in the right direction, that's good enough. But again, pardon my ignorance, I don't know a lot about any religions. So, yeah, I find that uh, very interesting that what do you do when you're in that situation, whether or not you can? Zoom! <laughs> Zoom church meeting! Oh, nice one. Uh, now... Uh, Red December, so we were talking last week about doing a Beatles cover, Hide Your Love Away. So give me this week to do it. I was hoping to get a shorts video out of the road before today's stream. So I'm going to have to do that today. But uh, I already had plans that I was going to send you an audio file and just we'll start with that and then hopefully do some video recording after that. So I just want to test that first. Hopefully that will work. Um, and we'll just oh sorry I've also got to say for whatever reason um, I cannot get into discord at the moment it just keeps wanting to update and it keeps saying it failed and then it keeps retrying so I don't know what's going on there I couldn't get into discord before the, the live stream so if that ends up being a problem uh, maybe I'll leave a comment on one of your videos or something to say I'm still struggling to get in there but it's been doing it for the last hour or so and it's no nearly two hours now and it still can't get in so sorry for that but yeah I'm actually looking forward to this I was practicing it yesterday Red December now the other thing is I may do it at my own um oh no I can play it already I already know it off by heart so uh, thank you for the offer, uh, Red, but no, I learnt that one by ear. Yeah, I didn't, didn't read sheet music for that. I'm trying to get either you or Stink Pants to sing it. Ah. Red, well, Red can be brutally honest as well, because she's seen all of the members only, uh, the channel membership videos, and she's heard me sing, like actually sing. Yeah. And it's not good. I'd have to put it through a filter or something. You do say I can do some songs okay, right? Uh, I feel the uh, same. <laughs> well, then I'll get you to sing it all red December. And uh, I was hoping to incorporate maybe another instrument. Uh, here's another one while you're at it, Red. And, uh, you know, and I'm not suggesting that uh, trying to put too much work onto you, but could you do uh, Time of Your Life, Green Day, and instead of the... the I think they play the violin for the lead. You could do flute for that as well. I'm just trying to think of uh, flute songs. And by the way, I remember the band that I couldn't think of last week, which was Jethro Tull. Jethro no Tull. No the dude is a spectacular uh, flaut flautist, I guess they're called. Flutist? Flautist? Most no famous, probably, flute band ever, Jethro Tull. I don't listen to any wind instrument band. Yeah, they're not common. That's the other thing, where, where it's actually a feature of the band. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There might be a saxophone band out there, but I couldn't name them. Oh, so we've got to go to bed. So, sorry, we, we didn't actually start late. We probably should start earlier, though. Because a lot of the kids that join our streams, it's quite late for them. Mm. Like Spidey has permission to stay up late to, to be <laughs> part of the streams just because, you know, it's us. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anything else you can think of, Red, I can try. Now, I'd also say not 100% accurate when I do learn these songs or lay both Hide Your Love Away and Time of Your Life would be pretty close. I'd say I could probably do that accurately. And I mentioned that I could either do... Oh, here comes the sun. So I can play that, but it's not accurate. So I'd love to do that one. It'd be my own version. So just be prepared uh, for that as well, Red December, that 
Oh, confession, Pudot confession time. <laughs> when it comes to learning music, number one, I'm kind of lazy. Number two, I find it much easier to watch someone or do it by ear than to read music. My ability to read tab or even just sheet music is, it's got to be really simple tab or sheet music. And to be honest, I get frustrated with it. I'd rather just watch someone play it and then try and copy them, which means a lot of the time when I do learn something, it's not super accurate. Uh, hide your love away, I'd say, is pretty accurate. But I might end up playing just as I would normally, as opposed to playing along with the Beatles playing it, because then it, I think that's a little bit faster than the way I would normally do it. But we'll just see. It's just a bit of fun to, to see whether or not we can get this collab going. Because I really want to do it with Red. Um, it's uh, I've been wanting to do collabs for a while, and I know that uh, she's already done them with other people. Mm. Plus, she's quite talented, so why not? Benefits us both, really. Uh, then there's the whole video editing and stuff, which I enjoy. It's the it's more fun in a way to do normal videos and live streams because you have more creativity behind it. You know, the problem is we want to always feel like you got to do the best effort that you can, and that takes longer, doesn't mm. it? Mm. Even with the shorts videos, we do do a lot of editing just to do those shorts videos, even though it's just gaming stuff. Mm. So, yeah, oh, I'm loving this at the moment. If Slaughter, I don't know if he's still here, but this is all Slaughter's type of music, even though he's just... <laughs> he's only a young <laughs> fellow, but he loves the Beatles, loves... This is Beatle? That's yeah. not what I'm thinking. Here come... Oh, not this playing at the moment, no. But what Red December's talking about is Beatles songs. And right. she's picked two of the best. Two of my favourites of all time. I still think Here Comes the Sun is one of the greatest songs ever written. And I'll say it says Hide Your Love Away because it's so simple. It's, it's so simple but so good. Uh, shout out to Dad who never watches any of our content I'm sure but <laughs> I'm very grateful why shout out? well because he introduced me to a lot of good music when I was young you know Cat I Stevens. think that's always the dad you know yeah your thing. dad did too didn't he always yeah and uh, you know there was stuff it's most of these bands had already finished up by the time I was born like the Beatles weren't around by the time I was born mm. Well, maybe they were and I don't remember it, but I must have been really, really young. Mm. Um, yeah, and some of these others. That, oh, my goodness. You are not going to believe who's here. Oh. ASM Loke. Hello. It's great to see you, ASM. How have you been? And i got to tell you, I feel sorry for ASM as well. They're having a hard time over there. I know where. Why? I'm, just because they're, they've got um, cases spreading all over the place. They had it contained for a while, but it's gotten worse. I, I have to ring my relatives to make sure they're okay because they're all old now. None of my, except for one cousin, all of my other cousins are here in Australia. So it's only the old, old generation that are there. So how have you been, ASM? It's been a very, very long time. It's good to see you. Uh, I hope things are well. Like, uh, I was worried. I know I sent uh, quite a few comments back in the day, but and I'm apo I apologise that I haven't um, checked out the, the channel for a little while. I guess I've just been a bit busy and I forget. But it's really good to see you. We're, we're happy that uh, you're alive and okay. Um, yeah, have you got any news for us? Is there anything interesting that's been happening in your neck of the woods so uh, what else you got stinky look at this we i'm so happy that we've got the dlg here we've got new members here we've got people that have been around for a long time that are, are back again it's great to see mm. puts a big smile on my face awesome can you hear my smile it's a thing you know uh hear your smile yeah i can hear your happiness. Yeah, but there you go. Not, not smile, not really. <laughs> I would say that at work all of the time. Can you hear my smile? Okay. 
uh, so oh well ASM saying everything's okay business as usual that's good to hear I'm, I'm glad actually to hear that I heard that Singapore doing well well I heard, maybe it's just the, the YouTube stuff because I have one computer that's logged in uh, to the Singapore VPN at the moment so I'm getting a lot of Singaporean news okay and I thought I heard that they were going through a more severe restriction at the moment maybe I'm wrong about that there we go. We've got the special emojis from Red December and ASM. I love it. Oh, I wish we had more channel members so I could add more emojis. But I just don't advertise it enough, really, is it? Mm-hmm. And just for you guys, I'll try this week to upload another members-only video. I've been a little bit slow with those uh, just because I'm running out of songs from... There's a lot more songs there, but they're really bad. If you thought the first six or seven were however many there are bad, they just get worse from here. Until I get that multi-tracker fixed. That's got a lot of stuff on it that's much higher quality. And then if we do these uh, collabs with Red December and I can figure figure out Garage Band, we will start doing some new songs. What do you think? We'll start a band! <laughs> you can try. Jethro told version 2 what do you think about that I don't understand what that is but (laughs) whatever (laughs) I mentioned it before Jethro Tull it's like the most famous band where the lead guy plays the flute oh I just can't remember the name Jethro Tull fine we're probably going to get recommended in Jethro Tull (laughs) videos now I've been saying it so much Uh, I didn't think any songs were bad oh well let's that's very complimentary, Red, but um, I guess having listened to them 20 years later, uh, they're not great. The, I think some of the the concepts are good. Uh, there, there's at least two songs that I've uploaded that I'd want to re-record because I think they're actually quite good. Some of them I can't even remember how to play at this point, but um, they weren't... In terms of professionalism, they don't sound very clean. They don't sound like they've been professionally produced. Uh, But having said that again, uh, when I get this multi, or if I can get this multi-tracker fixed, there were some much more polished songs on that. So fingers crossed I can still do it because that's a very old machine. Um, Yeah, and I'd love to showcase those because they did sound... Uh, We really enjoyed the fact that we could produce a whole band sound just with... It was never more than one or two people doing it at a time. So I might even, for the next one, I'll fair warning, it's not a great song. Stinky said don't upload that one. But it is one where I did everything. The drums, the bass line, just every instrument and singing. So, yeah, I find it quite entertaining to be able to do that. I actually can't remember I said that? Yeah, you know, like, not that one. When okay. I was, <laughs> when I was going one. through them. Not that one. But I'm running out, so I have to start uploading some of the stuff that's not quite so good. Mm-hmm. And it's really, honestly, it's just to thank ASM and Red December for supporting us and to, sure. to allow those people to hear another side Your of... Your crap song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I want to put out to the, for the world to hear. It's just for the DLGOGs there. Those guys deserve it. They deserve to hear the best and the worst of Uncle Poodot. Sure thing. (laughs) Or maybe they don't deserve it, but I'm doing it. (laughs) Okay. They don't deserve that kind of punishment. They deserve to listen to (laughs) your crappy song. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Do they deserve it? What an (laughs) honour. They deserve to, to hear more about uh, old Unky Poodot. They don't deserve to be punished and tormented. How about that? But you do because the votes are still coming in uh. and it's still very much yes, torment stinky. Uh, now, Red December is asking, does Australia celebrate Day of the Dead to remember past relatives? No, we don't. What um, is that anyway? So I believe they, they do that in New Orleans in America, if I'm not mistaken, Red December. And plus in uh, European countries. I want to say Puerto Rico, but I don't know if that's right. So Day of the Dead is where they celebrate, you know, uh, relatives that have passed away. And it's like a... Um, a Celebrate? 
Yeah, it's like a Mardi Gras. People get dressed up and wear costumes and masks, big, you know, paper mache type heads, that sort of thing. Others do more. Uh, Why you celebrate? You know, your relatives that have passed away. So it's a, that, that's something to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, to remember them. You know, like what do we do? We just go to their grave, maybe, or pray for them, or think about them, but we don't really do anything else. Huh? Is it? Well, what do you do to to celebrate your past relatives? Well, n- not so much for. Hang on. Okay. We, meaning my family, we yeah, well, have like um because. My mother's side has a Chinese background, and they do something special every day. So every d- oh yeah, every, yeah, yeah not every day every yep. year yep. sorry. Yep. Okay. So then I'll say you got you got the fake money. You have yes. to burn it. Yep. 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 So I will say our relatives do that as well. And then yeah. you buy special like chicken, roast chicken or yep. boy chicken and yep. duck, and then you put on the table and you put some incense. Yep. Put some what do you call it? A candle. Light the candle. Yeah. And you kind of like you have to burn. The idea is that you burn the money for them to use in their in their afterlife. Yeah, afterlife. Yeah. So you got to burn that. And some yeah. people just go crazy. They yeah. <laughs> burn something that I think mm, maybe not a good idea. But yeah, they do. They burn the clothes and whatnot. Oh wow! But not the real clothes. It's like the Paper, just like the fake money, it's paper money. Yeah. You burn those and burn some paper clothes and other things. Yeah, we're exactly the same. Uh, although I must admit, when my grandmother was alive, she used to you know, talk, uh, complain about the neighbors doing the burning of the money and doing too much of it because <laughs> they just get out in the street and start, you know, causing smoke yeah everywhere you kind of have to do outside of the house so, i don't think ours yeah i don't think they burnt money or didn't do it often but they certainly had the shrine and the food and the incense yeah so it's the same same and then you have to go visit the ancestor what do you call it the the buri ground crematory what do you call that Crema, crematorium and the buri ground grave grave graveyard graveyard yep yep graveyard so you go there you clean up yeah you pretty it up flowers yeah and whatnot yeah. that kind of thing so so we do that as well it's every year i yeah. think it's more like um southern chinese tradition because right. you got that in singapore and you got that in like you know wherever chinese migrate to in southeast asia yeah fair yeah. enough uh, now, ASM said cases increase, but not having bad or serious side effects. There they go, 80% in ASM's uh, country as well. Mm. So they're doing well with someone... We uh, are slow, actually. We are slow. We are, but struggling to get it. So MIG said it was 85% where they are, 80% where ASM is. We're getting close. It's over 70 now, isn't it? Oh, were you talking about just first dose or full dose? Oh, no. Because yeah. it's different. All right, then no. I guess they're both talking about full dose. We're so nowhere we're near no, that. We're nowhere <laughs> near that at the moment. Not, not yet 50, I don't think. Oh, wow. Maybe close to 50, I yeah. think. But it's been a struggle here. I got str- I struggled to get my first dose. Yeah, because we didn't have enough vaccine yeah. to begin with. We got AstraZeneca. They relied on it too much. And then after that, there's a lot of report about the effects. So people were afraid to get that one and waiting for another, another one. one. Yeah. And we didn't have a lot of that. Death. And also, they got we got the block in Europe. So they, they try to give to developing country first and they like, oh, Australia is developed country. Mm. Therefore, no. Yeah. <laughs> so from that block, we kind of late for everything. Well, there's something to be said for that as well, isn't there? That, uh, and I know that came out recently that the developed countries do need to put in more effort to make sure the developing countries um, are getting their vaccines and so on, which I think is right. You know, they've already got a struggle with their healthcare systems. They're not as good as ours. So anything we can do to help 
is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Red December also said, did you know I've lost my flute a total of five times? Huh? And How? I've got it back all five times. Oh, then I don't call that loss. You just miss it a bit. Oh, no, what no, 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 happened? She said, Come on. Can you help me? She said uh, she had to post a sign saying reward for flute. I'm guessing the same oh. person took it five times <laughs> to say that they've got five rewards. Oh. Is you it, know what? Is it cheaper to buy a new one? Oh, I reckon you could probably pay a lot of money for a good flute. I don't know what they're worth, but, you know, it's not like a plastic recorder. Recorders are cheap. Flutes might not be. Uh -huh. And a good flute might be really expensive. Mm. I don't know. I don't know anything about wind instruments, except for recorders are cheap. We should get a recorder. I have one at home. Oh, where I is have it to here? study. Well, Did you have to study that in your school? Had the choice, and I went for guitar. Well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Most kids at this is at the the primary school. Oh, primary! I did in secondary. All oh, right. So no, at primary school. Um, the music lesson. Most people learnt the flute. Okay, let's uh, talk about the music school in your school. Primaries. What did you learn in primary? Is it? Like compulsory to learn some instrument? Yeah, so at one point in primary school you had to pick an instrument. Really? And because most, it's not for us. Yeah, most people would pick the, the recorder. Now, I know that Australia got traditional, you know, Aboriginal kind of instrument. Yep. Did you get a chance to learn those? No, I would love to learn to play the didgeridoo, if that's what you're talking about. Didgeridoo sound great. Uh, but no, nothing like that. I, I, I heard you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> which would. <laughs> <do. laughs> so you'd be an expert at it. I tried once in a store. Can you do it? It sounded like I'd passed gas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It sounded like I farted. <laughs> can you do. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, you can. So what can. can can't you do? Oh, this one, I'm pretty sure. I can do that too. Nah, show me, show me. <laughs> Again. Ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you ready for me to do that? Good luck translating that uh, AI bot. <laughs> because in my country, I well, I, I'm in public school, so it might be different in private school. But hmm, what's happening here? Um... Like, I don't have to learn much instrument in primary school. We learn um, more about singing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, singing as well. There was singing we class. We got singing class and whatnot, but not instrument. Yeah, and they then were two different things, though, for us. We got in secondary uh, school, and at that point, it's not like compulsory for every year, you know, from grade 7 to 12, consider secondary, you reckon? Yeah. In, in my country, it's yeah. secondary, grade 7 to 12, and you only need like, what? Uh, <laughs> well, just one semester to learn that. Yeah. So which... And we separate like one semester you learn the traditional instrument, and another one is for like international kind of instrument. That's fantastic. I reckon it's great if you learn a traditional instrument. We're, but I'm pretty is, crap. You're, you're right. We should have learnt how to play the didgeridoo or something. Now, uh, ASM said that, yeah, they had to learn the recorder. And I'm guessing he tried to do some of those sounds and said he couldn't. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Stink Pants is quite talented with doing things with their tongue, certain positions of the tongue, which I certainly can't do. And it helps to make those sounds, I reckon. So no, for us, um, yeah, in primary school, you did have to do some compulsory singing classes and you did have to do, I think it was one semester or a year of music. I know it wasn't an ongoing thing, mm. but then in high school, it was extracurricular. So oh. you didn't have to do it at all. Um, this is in the public school. Then when I went to the the uh, boarding school, it was different again. You had to do something like that, but they yeah. basically said 
you've got the choice. You can either do music or you can do a language. Whereas when I was in high school, it was language. So in the public school, you had to learn a language. Uh, music wasn't a thing. And then when I got to the boarding school, I said, you can either do a language or you can do music. And my brother did music and he said to dad, don't make Braden, uh, don't make the younger kid do it because it was too hard. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up doing language. What do you got to say about that? I can't speak the language. So read right, this. Right, and you did study language. Yeah, I did French for four years. I did it in the public school and the boarding school. And I can barely speak any French. Right. Just a few words here and there. I can probably recognize more than I can speak. Mm -hmm. We could either do band or choir, says Red December. What? But in America, it's... Their extracurricular stuff, at least from my influence, like the way America has influenced me, um, their extracurricular stuff is huge there. You know, like they have their, their uh, what do they call it, the band? So, well, she's just saying band, you know, where they've got the, the twirly thing and they've got the drummers. I love seeing those drum battles there very entertaining to watch they're very skilled for us it's it's almost like everything compulsory <laughs> like i don't get a chance to choose anything like you you only choose you go i think at that point when i was in like year 11 or 12 i only have to choose between one uh i think only two elective subject at the time you want to type english or Thai or accounting. Well, hang on. Is that, a, is that typing skills or is that... Typing skill that they actually make it one subject. Right. So we also had that, but I think that was in the later years because it was never an option for me. Yeah, that's why I'm at, saying grade 11 or yeah, 12. Yeah. So you, you only have two subject elective here, but you can choose between the three. Right. Or four. I can't remember. Well, then I never would have had a chance to do it because it certainly wasn't a thing in my latter years. wasn't even an option. And by the way, Lam, we're always always having this argument uh, post-stream that I've been trying to translate into Latin and Stinky keeps saying to me, why? It's a, lang it's a lost language. And I say, yeah, you're bringing it back. Ah, bringing back Latin because that was taught that was an option that um, I had in the, the latter years of school not many students took it up though because it was considered quite difficult to do that I'm consider it as a dead language why? you've used it you've I don't got... want to learn don't give me that now if you were doing your first profession here not not in your home country why this one is so happy you would be using a lot of latin and you know there's a lot of latin that's still being used in science it's the it's like the uh what do you call it educated language or academic language so it's not lost it's just people don't speak it fluently but there's a lot of words you know a few, don't you, Stinky? You even mentioned one. I'm sure you might not even be aware how many Latin words you use. Yeah, I know. TDSQID. Which means what? It's an abbreviation in Latin. But I don't know what it means. I mean, I don't know what is the full word. But it means three times a day and four times a day. And uh, what about you? Uh, isn't anatomy a lot of Latin or not? No. I don't think. But they use some Latin in medical. Name, Not a lot. Name some body parts. Mouth. No. Abdomen. They're... Okay. Intestine. Gluteus maximus. That is Latin. That's Latin? Yes. I'm pretty sure. Is Do you have another word for pancreas? I don't know if that's... I don't think so. Yeah, fibula, your tibula. These are probably all Latin words. Tibia, fibula, you're talking about bones now. Anything. 
to do with anatomy. Humorous? Yeah, I'm beginning to think that's all Latin words. I think sneaky. you made it that. Gluteus Maximus is Latin. What does it mean? You bot bot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I read December, I guess, did band rather than choir, or maybe both. She was very active at school, mm. like you know, really we, active. If you want to do it, it's kind of extra curriculum to be in the band. Like I tried to be in the band when I was in primary school. It's not really a band. It's just, you know, when you... Oh, I don't know. I don't think Australians do that. When you first go to school, first thing you do, uh, well, you have a... Ch- if it's not 8 o'clock yet, you've got a choice to do whatever you want. But when it's 8 o'clock, you actually have to s- stand in a row singing a national song and whatnot. And why are you singing? Another, there are going to be a band who play the drums, melody, and what do you call this thing? Bell? Yeah, triangle. The, not triangle! Cowbell. Cowbell? The bell. Yeah, some sort of bell. And then, yeah, he got more. I tried to be in that band because I like playing melody. It looks like a keyboard, but you also have to blow it too to make it, to make a noise. Press start, you stink. Is, why, what did you press? Stop. <laughs> I don't understand why that went straight to that. So yeah, there's a lot of ass in here. So I tried to be in a band, but not for long because there's too many people there wow. they don't want too many people <laughs> there's sometimes you got to the point oh i can hear a lot of melody and oh i can hear a lot of bell because too many people doing it all right i know again in the latter latter part they would actually have the orchestra as well not something you could mm. do in a little country town but uh yeah nah, in my secondary school again oh they do a lot of, what do you call it, um, the wind instrument, which is a bit higher in than primary school, not just melody. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. But they, they fall on about wind instrument, and I'm not really into that. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing neither of us do. We're not, not really into the wind instruments, but I'd like to learn. I don't know if we do. Recorder. Any- that's uh, what I learned. I got the harmonica, that's about it. And yeah, let's get the recorder. And Red December says she knows a little Latin too. Not lost language. Meh. It's part of our, our vocabulary these days. Ah, uh, right. Have you done your mea culpas when you did something wrong? That's Latin. I don't even know what it means. So. Mea culpa is making corrections or apologising for something that you may have done. You know, making sure that you do the correct apologies, make amends for whatever mistakes you made. That's mea culpa. Ah, why do you want so hard? Okay, you have to go slow. Australian history, terra nullius. That's what the colonisers called Australia at the time, saying vacant land, which was not true at all. You know, you did have the, the native Australians or Aboriginals were here, but... At the time they said, nope, vacant land, terra nullius, we don't have to pay them anything. Unlike America where it was, I think, called terra firma from memory, which means there are people that were there beforehand and you have to negotiate. And they just pay them by a penny? Yeah, for some... some <laughs> That's not better! Not, not, not any better, but, you know, at least they were recognised as people. Whereas here they weren't, which is a tragedy in our, our history. Which is really different from... Like Kiwi, you know, New Zealand, they are pretty good with their uh, indigenous. I don't get why it's so much different. Uh, I'm going to say because number one, um, Islanders, is, is if you want to use a, a general term, because it's not just New Zealand, it's um, Samoa and Tonga. These are all Islander type people. Yeah. It might have something to do with, they were pretty good warriors. Like, Aboriginals weren't really, they would fight with each other tribal stuff every now and again, but they weren't actual warriors. Whereas the the um, Islanders definitely were. So maybe they had a harder time or something, I don't know. I don't know their history. And they're big, like, they you've seen the Islanders, hands. they're Maybe. big people. Uh, now, ASM saying, oh, hang on, Red December said, 
I was chosen to be the student band director once. She, she must have been extremely popular at school. Mm. Cheerleading captain, band director. Not surprising. She's got such an affable personality. Very likeable. ASM also says that he joined the Scouts in his secondary school. Oh, so we to- are compulsory to do it. Yeah, well, I to- told this about uh, mm. my brother. And I don't like it. In the past, where he did Cubs and then said, no, don't do it because he didn't have a good time, so I didn't do it. Mm. Which means that you start in Cubs, then you go to Scouts, but that never happened for me. Yeah, there's a lot of decisions he made on my behalf, I reckon. Uh, but having said that, I did do Cadets when I went to boarding school. Mm-hmm. So that's not quite, it's maybe a level up from Scouts okay. as, to put Cadet it. Is- for us, it's more like not compulsory, mm. but if you don't do cadets, you got to serve the military. Yeah. So if you didn't do cadets, you had either social services or ventures was another one. So I actually did, and ventures is above uh, boys. So it goes boy cubs, boy scouts, and then ventures. And no, I didn't do that. I must have done social services. Uh, so there you go. ASM, did you learn some good skills from Scouts? I love the survival stuff. I bet he did. Uh, and Red December says, is it the spring equinox by you? Y- yes. It's springtime here. Yeah. What, what's an equinox? I don't know. I've heard the the word before. Why is my... I don't know. You tell me. I think, In English, right? Latin? I think, I think it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Latin? It might be. Uh, Equinox could very well be Latin. There you go. And I believe it might have something to do with the cycle of the moon, but don't quote me on that. So is it the new cycle of the moon in springtime? I don't know. I can say it's a beautiful day today, but it was so cold last night, Kitty Cat jumped under the blankets twice. And actually, she started off in the valley between old Stinky Pants and myself. And then when I woke up, I actually woke up with my hand around her. I didn't even know. And then she looked at me and meowed and then tried to get under the covers straight away. So we have, we've been having strange weather for the past hour of many years here, isn't it? The springtime's colder than I remember and winters are pretty much warmer than I remember. Thanks, global warming. That's what happens. You don't believe in that either. It's a thing. I saw some sort of documentary on the um, Russian uh, permafrost, I think they call it. There's some areas in Russia where their permafrost is melting as well. So it's a very real thing. And then you just got to look at some of the stuff that happens in Antarctica or the... Uh, North Pole, South Pole, they're losing more of their ice. So there you go. And I don't know if ASM saying, yeah, in terms of I got the Equinox thing right, or that he learnt a lot in Scouts. Because that would be... I actually heard from one of my relatives that one of the school camps, they take you to an island uh, near Singapore where you have to camp out for a few nights or a week or two. And there was some myth that there was actually a tiger on that island, which does make a lot of sense. I mean, someone would have to dump a tiger there. <laughs> what are the chances of that? To say, no, no, it's a true thing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, equinoxes, light and dark are equal. The sun and moon are equal. Day and night are equal. I think we passed that already because now we start to have more sunlight and we're going to have daylight saving soon-ish. Oh, yes, Next yes. Month. Yeah, the days are longer already, aren't they? Start to be longer now, I think. It's getting dark later and lighter. Which I like. Some of my friend doesn't like, though. Some of my friend from Indonesia, it's tropical country, she said, you know, when, when it's 9 o'clock and it's still daylight, mm-hmm. it's just weird and... The day is just gone too fast. You know what? I can empathise with that because I went to Europe at whatever time of the year it was. It was almost midnight and it was still daylight. I couldn't believe it. I think it was 11 o'clock when it started to get dark. It was either... uh, I think it was in uh, the Netherlands? 
It's either Netherlands or Germany, one of the two. Mm. And how about the morning? When you start to get sunlight then? Um, I don't know, but we would wake up, I think, at about 7 or 8 o'clock. It was already daylight then. Oh, okay. So it's not like we were getting up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. So they actually got more daylight at some time of the year. Yeah, I was shocked. It was like... But that means it's not that cold, right? Because you got more sunlight. Yeah, it was uh, a nice time to go to Europe. The weather was quite what, pleasant. What season was that? Uh, I think it was their summer, which was quite mild oh, for me. Oh, okay. Because it's not a dry heat, number one, like we get here, or even a tropical heat if you're in Queensland. Yeah. I don't know what you call that heat. It was just pleasant, mild. Like It was like today. You could go out in a pair of shorts and be fine. You know, it's not super hot like mm. we get here. Okay. So All right. there's that. It's already been two hours. Oh, no tiger, no ghost in the island. Maybe my my uh, relatives were joking around they not lie telling to the you. truth. Yeah, they probably. lied to you. They want to scare you. <laughs> hey, that would be right. They now like I need to go to toilet. Uh, you want to play or what? what? It's do? already 2 o'clock. I mean, 2 hours now. Well, I'll get one more going because you got to come back and finish finish your goodbyes and kablutions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just bear with me for a little moment, chitty chat, just while I'm trying to work out what to do here. I'm going very slow. I'm going too slow. So Wednesday in the spring equinox. All right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, I found it quite... If we move interstate, the, the amount of daylight varies between states here because some don't have daylight savings. So there was one state that I lived in. It was weird that it would get daylight at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, a lot of people complain about it because they see that uh, we have a lot more time um, at, you know, daylight hours in, in the southern states or wherever they have daylight savings. But it was great for surfers because the best surf is early in the morning. So you could do more surfing before work, which to me was a good thing. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think... Uh, from memory, Singapore doesn't have daylight savings, but America probably does. Uh, again, pardon my ignorance if I've got that wrong. Alright, so we will end up uh, the stream shortly, just waiting for Stinky to get back to, to say goodbye to everyone. Red December and ASM, thank you so much for sticking around as long as you did, because the live chat did go a little bit quiet without you two there. Uh, I will, I guess, message you both privately at some point because uh, I've got to get cracking on doing some recording for Red December and just want to have a chat to ASM. It's been that long. So have you got any of the, the final words there, Stinky? Or Nothing. Nothing just else to say? Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. All right. So it's good to see you all. Thank you for, for being part of the DLG. We'll see you in the next one. Have an absolutely fantastic week. I will enjoy as much as I can before next month. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Great positive note then. Bye. All right, see ya. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got to do it twice here. I don't know.